Hi everyone, this is Anne. This is going to be part two of my Q&A, and this will be answering the personal questions that I received. And if you ask me a question, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you missed part one, which was answering questions on YouTube, hair care, and skin care, I'll go ahead and link that video beneath this video down in the description box in case you want to take a look at it. To keep this video a little shorter, I'm just going to cut straight to the question and then I'll write the name of the person who asked the question on the screen. And again, if you ask me a question, thank you so much. The first question is actually three questions, so I'll just answer them as I read them. And she wants to know, what is the one thing I like most on my face? And that would be my eyes. And then if I could be someone else, example, a celebrity, who would you be? And I would probably pick Jennifer Aniston. And then what is the best advice you ever got? Who gave it and when? And as far as skincare, I would say it was some man who was a shop owner down in Scottsdale, Arizona. I was on a road trip with my dad and I was probably about 19 or 20. I went into his shop and he saw that I had a sunburn and he told me he was much older than I was and he told me that his wife is an avid sunbather and that her skin was like leather and he advised me to stay out of the sun while I'm still young and of course I continued to sunbathe stupidly so that was probably the best advice I got I just wish I had taken it. The next question is, I notice you have clear bra straps. Where did you purchase them? And I do use clear bra straps on some of my bras, and I just buy them in a pack of three. And I'll go ahead and put the link to where I purchased mine beneath this video down in the description box. And these are really handy to have because if you have a bra that has removable straps, you can just attach these to it in place of the straps that came with the bra. And it's really nice because then you can still wear a bra and wear your straps, but they're not as noticeable as colored straps. My next question is where I worked before YouTube. And I touched on this a little bit in my Q&A part one, but what I did is I went to college after high school and I took a break about halfway through my college career to go to beauty school and then decided to go back to college. After that, I worked for a French skincare brand for about a year and I really loved that job. And then after that, I decided to hand stamp and hand make baby bracelets and I sold them to upscale boutiques and also to the Nordstrom stores in Colorado and I would do trunk shows for them at the holiday season and that's pretty much what I did for about 20 years and then I got burned out on making bracelets and took a break and started doing YouTube. The next series of questions are tell us about your husband, kids, family, pets, etc. And I grew up with two older brothers and my parents, and my parents still live in the same house that I grew up in, so I think that's really neat. They live nearby, so I get to visit them often. And I am married. I've been married over 21 years now, and I have two children. I have a daughter who just turned 26, and so this is her stepdad. And then I have my son, who is 20, and I have two pets currently. One is a Boston Terrier who is about 15 and a half years old, and poor little thing, she's blind and deaf and, you know, isn't doing all that great. And then I have a Yorkshire Terrier who's about nine, nine and a half, and she's real cute and very sweet. And then I was also asked, um, what is the craziest, wackiest thing you've tried in the name of anti-aging? And I've tried so many things at home because, as you may know, I'm 50. I don't do Botox fillers or any plastic surgery on my face. I'm just trying to age as well as I can with topical treatments and at-home products. So I have tried pretty much everything. I've tried red light therapy. I've tried, I'm currently trying the electric currents to tighten up my jawline. 
And I would say probably when I started derma rolling 10 years ago and poking little needles into my skin in order to produce new collagen. That is, however, one of the very best anti-aging treatments I think that can be done at home. And I continue to use the Derma Stamp and Derma Roller, and I swear by it. I have a lot of videos on that, which I'll link some of them beneath this video in case you're curious. But that probably was the craziest thing I tried. And I started Derma Rolling 10 years ago when I was about 40. And I had just read about it online and decided to go ahead and order one and give it a try. I really think it's a great device and I think that it really works well for anti-aging. And then she wants to know my most expensive epic product failure. And I would say that was probably last year when I tried a product by Sunday Riley. I think it was the Good Jeans. And I was so excited to try it. I put it all over my face, including around my eyes. And after about the second night of using it, I had pretty much like chemical burns around my eye area. And it made me look horrible. I looked about a million years old. It made, you know, made me look 10 times more wrinkled than I actually am. And I returned the product and I have never tried anything from Sunday Riley again. I was asked if I have any celebrities or fashion sources that influence my personal style. And I would say not really. I am just very casual. I always wear jeans and I just dress very casually. So, I do like Jennifer Aniston's style, and sometimes I'll look up outfit ideas that, that she has that are casual, and but not really. I just kind of go with what I like, which is mainly, you know, sweaters in the wintertime, jeans, boots, and then t-shirts or cute trendy tops in the summertime, and that's pretty much my personal style. It's just very, very casual. I was asked what my favorite meals are, and I love pizza a lot. I also love a good steak, and I really like Japanese food. The next series of questions are, were you interested in makeup as a child? Not really. I was more interested in doing hair, and what did I want to be when I was a child as an adult? And for the longest time, I wanted to be a doctor. How did you meet your husband? I met him through a mutual friend on a blind date. And what do you think a good foundation of marriage includes? Okay, I figured this out when I was about 30, so I was already married, and I think the key to a good marriage is finding somebody who is very similar to you. I think that's key because my husband and I are about complete opposites. So I discovered that after I was married that I think the key is finding somebody who is very similar to you. The next question is, did I ever work outside the home? And yes, I did. When I worked for the French skincare company, my daughter was about two. And so I worked outside the home then for about a year, and then I went ahead and started making my handmade baby bracelets. So then I started working inside the home, which was really nice because that helped being a stay-home mom. I could work while the kids were in school or in the evenings while they were doing homework, I could work some. So I really enjoyed working out of my home best. Next is, what are some of your favorite movies? And I have so many favorite movies. I love movies, and I love all different types of movies, everything from dramas to comedies. And I would probably say that the movie that I have watched most in my life, and probably about 20 times I've seen Dances with Wolves, so I would have to say that that has to be up there in one of my favorite movies. Jen wants to know if my background is wallpaper, and no, it's actual artificial individual flowers. And then where in the world would you live besides the USA? And I've only really been to France, and I went there about a year and a half ago, absolutely loved it. I still have family over in France, so I did get to visit them. And I would probably say France just because everybody 
was so kind to me and so nice and helpful and I really really loved France. And then I'm asked if I could talk about the exercise that I do and what kind of diet I try to follow. And currently I just do walking on my treadmill. I have a back condition that I have a cyst that developed in my spinal column and it pushes on my sciatic nerve which causes a lot of pain going all the way down my leg. So I try to walk when I can and that's primarily the exercise that I do. Before I developed that cyst I used to do Pilates all the time and the diet that I follow is I just try to eat as healthy as I can. If I am craving junk food though, I will go ahead and have some of it just to kind of kill that craving. So I don't really follow a diet. I just try to eat as healthy as I can. And then she also wanted to know if I read. And I don't read a lot. I don't read very often. Every once in a while I'll find a book that I want to read. And I do. But typically I just don't have time to read and I kind of am addicted to watching Netflix anymore so when I get a little bit of spare time I usually try to watch a show on Netflix. And then I'm asked if I'm married, if so, how long, and how did you meet? And I kind of touched on this a little earlier, but yes, I am married for 21 long years and we met through a mutual friend on a blind date. And then I'm asked what my favorite junk food is to eat. That would be some sort of chips, either potato chips or Doritos. And who is your celebrity crush? That would be Orlando Bloom. I have had a crush on him for the longest time, like over 12 years now. I just think he's adorable and so cute and I love his movies. And then what is your favorite childhood memory? And I have so many great memories from my childhood, but I would say one that really stands out to me is when I would go back to Kansas to visit my grandparents on my mom's side and my granddad who had a lumber yard, he would take me to work with him on occasion. And one day he brought me to a local store when I was with him at work and he gave me a big paper bag and told me to go down the candy aisle and fill it up with whatever I wanted. And I just thought that was the coolest thing ever and I really enjoyed that. Next is if I could go back into my 20s and give myself advice, what would it be? And if I could say, whatever you do, don't do this, what would it be? Oh my God, where to start? Um, so many things I would tell myself, um, but probably it would be to listen to myself and do what I wanted and not let others influence me so much. That would be a big one. And um, on the please don't do this, oh my gosh, okay, I'm just going to keep it to skincare, which would be don't lay out in the sun. And then I'm asked again if I am married and how I met him. And yes, I am. And I answered that just a question or two ago. So I won't bore you guys with those details again. Um, also, do you have a day job or is this your full-time job? And currently, this is my full-time job. I try to answer everybody's comment, which is very time-consuming. And if I miss somebody's comment, I'm very sorry. I'm, it's not on purpose. Sometimes when a comment is placed on another comment, I tend to miss those. Or if a comment goes into the spam folder, I tend to not check the spam folder. So sometimes I miss a comment or two here and there, but I do try to take the time and respond to everybody's comment. The next question is if I take a daily vitamin herbal vitamins, extra vitamins, collagen drinks, etc. And I do take a multivitamin. I also take magnesium because I think it helps with my back. And then I also take collagen chews and they're really, really good. I'll go ahead and list them beneath this video because they taste really good like a Starburst candy and they have collagen, they have vitamin C and hyaluronic acid in them and I've really been enjoying those. 
Next I'm asked who my favorite YouTuber is and who I watch regularly and when and why did I decide to do a YouTube channel. And I started watching Angie of Hot and Flashy a long time ago. I also love to watch Dominique. I have so many that I really love to watch and I watch some that are younger too. I watch Wayne Goss, I watch Carly Bible, and I also like to watch Tati. And those are kind of the main ones that I watch and I'll link their channels beneath this video in case you want to see who they are if you don't know. And I really enjoy all their videos and there's so many that I love to watch here on YouTube. There's so many good channels out there that I could go on forever about the ones that I really like to watch. But those are the main ones that I watch and have been watching for the longest time. And then I'm asked what exercise I do and what is a day in the life like for me. And I just currently do walking on my treadmill. And a typical day is doing laundry, running errands. My daughter will be getting married in about a month or less. So I've been very busy helping to get things ready for that. And that's very time consuming. So I do that. I visit my elderly parents and help them out when they need help. Um, and I do YouTube. I also answer comments. And I just stay very, very busy. It seems like I don't have too much spare time. So that's pretty much what a day in the life is like for me. I'm, and then, of course, I have my elderly dog, which, you know, she has taken to not telling us when she needs to go out. So I have a lot of cleaning up to do during a day, too, without getting into too many details. But that's kind of <laughs> what my days are like. The next question is, what is my all-time favorite perfume and what was my first ever perfume? And my all-time favorite one was Jessica Simpson Fancy, the regular original just fancy. I love that one. I think it smells so good and it's kind of hard to find now. On occasion around Christmas time I can find it and I always purchase it then because I do love that one. It smells like sugar cookies. And then what was my first ever perfume? And that would be Love's Baby Soft. And on occasion when I find that one, I go ahead and purchase it too, just for old time's sake. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I usually don't talk too much about my personal life in my videos. I try to keep them on topic and on beauty topics. So I hope you found this interesting somewhat. And thank you again so much for everyone who asked me a question. I really, truly appreciate it.